Welcome to the QuickBooks University training tutorials. My name is Matt Holtquist and I wanted to put together this video for you because I do get this question quite a bit is, you know, if you have accounts in your chart of accounts, how do you either delete or get rid of them? Okay. So here's what I want to show you and you'll run it when you'll run into this problem. Okay. So you might have an account. Okay. This is the chart of accounts that I pulled up. Okay and it's pretty simple uh, to get to if you're in the home screen here you go to company it's under chart of accounts um, you can also go to company and go down here to chart of accounts i've got it in my open windows so i'm just going to click over here okay so if you go through your accounts here in your chart of accounts and you're like you know there's some accounts that i just never use and i don't need them showing up on you know reports whatever it is or it could be an old account that maybe you used to use but you don't use it anymore okay now a lot of people will say well how do i delete that account well i don't advise deleting the account uh, only because you possibly could need it in the future um, you know you just never know uh, there are some accounts that if you absolutely never use okay uh, let's say you do the pre-done chart of accounts in QuickBooks and you say, you know what, we never need dues and subscriptions, then you could possibly delete that. Um, but if it, I want to show you what it does if you say to delete it, but the account has a balance. Okay. So here's what you do. I want to show you a little thing down here that says include inactive. Okay. So you can click that and you're going to see it's going to show you which account you actually have inactive. So it shows this little X right here. OK, and if you want to make an account active, you can just go like that. OK, or click it. And if you want to make another one inactive, OK, you just put that there. OK, now if you don't have that checked and you're just looking at which ones are active, uh, let me first go to checking. OK. So if you right click and you can do it by right clicking or you can do it down here by clicking account. OK, but easier to just right click if you say delete account. OK, it's going to say the problem here is QuickBooks can't delete it because it has a balance or it's been at least used in uh, one transaction. Um, and so it won't let you delete it. You can, however, make it inactive. All right. Now, if it has a balance, uh, generally, you want to clear out that balance somehow if you don't use that account. It just depends on what kind of account it is and how you clear it out before you make it inactive. Okay, so let's go down to, let's say, uh, I'm going to go down here to the expense accounts. And let's say we just don't use debt, uh, bad debt. Okay, we click uh, delete and it says warning, it cannot be deleted. OK, so see that that that's the main problem you're going to run into is some of these accounts just can't be deleted unless there's absolutely no activity in it. OK, so let's say bank service charges and we just want to make it inactive. OK, it disappears on the chart of accounts and now it's inactive. If you want to include it to be active or to show on the chart of accounts inactive, you see it there and you can either right click and make it active or you can just click that X and it'll now make it active. OK, and again, to make an account inactive, you can just show it in this view and you can say make these inactive and you'll see when you do a main account, it's going to do all the sub accounts. Uh, and if you want to undo that, uh, activate the subs as well. Yes. OK, so it's as simple as that. So general rule of thumb, I wouldn't delete accounts. Uh, that's just kind of um, an accountant thing of just not deleting these things, uh, just make them inactive and uh, they shouldn't show up on reports. All right. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, please let me know. Happy to answer them for you and we will see you in the next video.